X Benedict Cabbage Patch. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another NECA Toys action figure review on the NECA Toys quarter scale Marvel's Deadpool. If you're trying to pick this up, it is available right near me. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Big thanks to NECA Toys for making this review possible. A lot of you guys have asked me to review this figure, and if it wasn't for them, this video wouldn't be happening right now. So if you want to see the latest from NECA Toys, check the link in the description below. I really like the packaging right over here. It says Epic Marvel number 00 series Inception figure. He has 33 points of articulation, seven interchangeable hands, weapons arsenal, and it says super poseable badass. And I love how they kind of have this fourth wall breaking thing of a giant hand holding the packaging at the very bottom right over there. And then on the side, if you want to look at all the little banter coming from Deadpool, go ahead and read through all of that. And then on this back side, you get this really cool image of Deadpool over there, and then you can see some of the text. And then on this side right there you can see all the accessories and everything is saying sure yeah whatever you're gonna die weapons arsenal advanced deadpool hey very fun packaging over here and on the very top you get the deadpool logo and then on the very bottom you can see all the people responsible for creating the figure all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here is deadpool out of the packaging and congratulations NECA toys you guys made an outstanding figure this thing is incredible very very fun piece, especially because you could tell that the makers of this figure had a lot of fun with it. I mean, everybody just seemed to put a lot of details in it, whether it be paint, whether it be sculpt, whether it be articulation. A lot of love was put into this thing, man. You could just tell by looking at all the little details. So I'm going to try to show off as many of those little details as possible. Again, the figure is very well articulated. I do have a couple of gripes that I'm going to mention, but for the most part, I am floored with this figure. It is very impressive. He comes with a ton of accessories. So let's take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at Deadpool. So let's start with Deadpool's arsenal over here We get a lot of weapons uh, first off. I want to look at this automatic rifle. I think that's what it is I don't know much about guns, but I'm just gonna call it the uh, I don't know F2K5 uh, BMX right here. I think this is incredible with all this silver dry brushing I really dig that a lot that always pleases me. Looks pretty nice. I like the sculpted details that we're seeing in here very cool looking uh, automatic rifle. Here's the other side right there. And then we do get a banana clip attached to the side, which I think is really neat. And you can remove this one right here. And you can see we have some bullets in the chamber and at the bottom too. So I guess this one's upside down. I guess you could put it the other way also. Let's see. I tried, I thought I'd try. Oh yeah, you can go that way. All right. And you can uh, put it on there this way. So either way, I don't know if one of them is correct or incorrect. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this is pretty badass. I really dig it a lot. Great paint apps and sculpted work and everything. And then he does have his little uh, bowie knife. Is this a bowie knife? I don't know, but I think it looks really cool. I dig that a lot. We get some nice black wash over the red. Very nice bright silver. Not extremely pointy, but you know, it looks good enough. I like it. Serration right over there. So very nice looking blade. I'm digging that. And he does have a little sheath uh, on his boot for this. So you can just Go ahead and just slip the arm right to come on, just slip right there. There we go. I may have put that in backwards. Let's see, maybe like this way, huh? Yeah, it's supposed to go in that way. That looks a lot better. That's pretty nice. Again, silver dry brushing. The figure has silver dry brushing throughout, which I think is great. Then he does come with the side right here, looking really cool. I like the handle. I wish he came with two sides, though. It's a little weird that he just comes with the one side and it just ports right into the middle right here. So, I don't know. I think it's a little strange, but not bad. And I really like that we get some more dry brushing right there, looking really nice nice and then he does have his two katanas which look fantastic man I really like the silver on these these are sculpted out very well I really dig them a lot and then you get all these characters usually you get Japanese characters at the bottom but for Deadpool we get exclamation mark question mark exclamation mark you know so all from a keyboard right there I think that is awesome and you get the Deadpool logo right there very cool I'm really digging that a lot very, very nice. And then same thing with the other one too. You know, you can just see, and I like the sound it makes when you take them out. You know, it's pretty neat. Um, now, my biggest complaint with this figure actually has to do with the way this sheath attaches to his back. You get these two little holes right over here and these two weird shapes right there that, you know, that go right into it. 
and it doesn't really stay so well for me. I don't know. I always have a hard time getting this on there. And then once I do get it on there, as soon as I pose the figure or move it around in some shape or form, it just falls right off. So that is actually my number one complaint with this figure is uh, is this whole system right here. I wish it would stay on better. I may just end up super gluing it on there. I mean, it'll stay fairly well, but as soon as you start moving it around and everything, of course, now that I'm messing with it on camera, it's going to stay put just fine. So maybe if you're lucky, you know, it'll stay on yours a little bit better than it did with mine. And then he does come with his pistol right here looking really good. I really like how this came out. It's pretty sweet. Nice glossy black paint right there. So not too bad. Alright, I like that. I did have a little piece of the hammer come off. I just super glued that right back on there. But I, I think it had fallen over one time while I was taking pictures. I took a lot of pictures of this guy. And then here we have, uh, I don't know what this is called. Is this the M5? I have no clue. Let me know in the comments below. Because I'm a dummy. But anyway, we get some nice overdrive brushing right there. Deadpool logo. Looking really cool. And then we get some writing on the side. It says, this end toward enemy, Deadpool's gun. Very nice. And then we have a NECA scaler right there. Deadpool scaler right there on the end of his gun. I thought that was great. Way to break the fourth wall, NECA. Very, very smart. I like that a lot. And then to show off the holster for his sidearm, I just wanted to put that in there. And just show how that ports in. And come on, port in. There it goes. So that's pretty sweet. Again, the dry brushing throughout here is just incredible. I love it. So we get seven interchangeable hands with Deadpool. You can see we get these katana holding hands right here, which look pretty sweet. I like these. And then we also get another katana holding hand for the right side, which I actually think is for the Psy. I don't know, they're very, very identical to each other. But I was able to wedge the Psy in between the ring finger and the middle finger on this one. Just ever so slightly, just went, went through it. Oh man, kind of scary. Yeah, because it's quite stiff. So I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I was able to wedge that through there. And then we have a trigger holding, uh, trigger finger holding hand right here, which is kind of uh, just a little bit less so than this trigger hand right there. So we get that, and then we get another uh, strong trigger finger holding hand right here. So we get three right hands that are very identical to each other. And then we get this very awesome one right over here, which I really like. It's a deep pool. Yeah. Deep pool, looking really cool. So yeah, I'm really digging all of the paint and everything. And there's quite a bit of paint chipping as you can see on the review station and stuff, but it doesn't really bother me that much. It's just clean up afterwards. But I really like how the hands are done. Very nice gunmetal color. I really like the gold right over here. It looks really cool. I'm liking the Deadpool logo on the back of the hand. Looking at one of these trigger finger hands right there. You can see some silver dry brushing. Nice glossy black paint. A lot of nice details in here and everything, so I do like the hands. So I really like this head sculpt. We do not get interchangeable heads with this figure, which I think would have been kind of cool, but I do like the head sculpt that we get over here. We get these nice lines sculpted all the way through, looking really nice. I think that's pretty sweet how we have some black paint mixed in there. He has the raised eyebrow on this side, and this one's a bit more squinty, but still kind of raised. I don't know. I feel like this line should have been just sculpted a little bit lower. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But anyway, we have some silver buttons right over there at the top, looking pretty cool. And we get that little dip right there in the back. Signature dip for Deadpool. Looking pretty cool. Then he does have this collar right around his neck. Not looking too shabby. And man, I love this fake leather for the brown areas on those straps. That looks awesome. I'm really digging that a lot. Get some very nice glossy shoulder pads right over there. A tiny little bit of scuffage from using those shoulder joints, but we do get some really nice wrinkles in there. Uh, you can see that I do have a similar kind of scuff on this side too. So there's just a little bit of rub right there. The arms look really nice. Really like those lines sculpted in there. All these little buttons throughout on this thing. Looks really awesome. Again, those hands look really cool too. I love that gold, man. And then the elbow pads look pretty sweet over there. And looking at the chest of the figure, this looks pretty cool too. The musculature looks really good. You get some nice seams. And man, that Deadpool belt, that is awesome. Damn, I just love all the little attention to detail, all the little stitching. I love the colors that we see right here. This brown looks really good. Yeah, man, we get some canisters over there. I guess those are gas bombs or grenades. I don't really know. One on the back, looks pretty nice. Very, very nice belt. And here's looking on the back without the sheath attached to it. And then there's Deadpool butt. And then we have Deadpool crotch. And then we have this leg with the holster. And again, we get some really nice, cool pouches right there. You gotta suit Deadpool up with some cool pouches, right? And we get some nice straps on the back. Very cool looking buckles. Again, I really like the holster for his pistol right there. It's very cool. And there's the sheath again for that little knife. Looking really cool. 
And then we have the boots right there, and straps going along. I really like the silver wear on top of these shin guards too. Knee pads look pretty good. Then he has some really nice looking boots. Both of them have these little scuffs right there on the tips. So I think that's pretty cool. And then what's really nice is the little added text at the bottom of each of his feet. That is so funny. Snap with the tooth right there. I think that's funny. This one actually doesn't have text. It's just an exclamation mark, but still, I think that's great. Now for articulation, you can move Deadpool's head upwards. Uh, that much right there, not looking too bad, Deadpool. He does have this collar around his neck that is a little wobbly, so you can kind of shimmy around that, getting his head to look down some, but his head doesn't look down that much. Uh, you do get side to side movement with the figure right here, and you do get some head pivot, so that's pretty sweet. His shoulders do move outward that much. I can't get him moving outward more than that. Uh, they do move down very far though, you can get him moving forward. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and one thing I gotta mention is that I recommend heating this figure up with a hair dryer before you start moving the joints around. Uh, all the hands swivel side to side and they do hinge up and down. We get a great ab crunch right here. I really like that a lot and it does move back. You get a waist swivel which is really good. It does have these extreme hip joints that move all the way outward like that much. Uh, you can move this left leg outward more so because it doesn't have the gun in the way. And then unfortunately his legs don't kick forward as much as I would like them to. They do kick forward a little bit but I wish they could kick forward more than that. You know, uh, He does have the double jointed knees that bend in very far. And then his ankles do move down. They do move up a little bit. He does have a very good ankle pivot. This is, I think, the first time I've seen this good of an ankle pivot on a quarter scale NECA figure. And then he does have toe articulation. Now to measure out this quarter scale Deadpool figure, you can see that Deadpool is standing just a little over 19 inches tall, or maybe you can't see it, but from what I'm looking at, he looks like he's at about the 19 inch mark. Then here's Deadpool next to another NECA Toys quarter scale figure. We have the BVS Batflack. Then here's Deadpool next to my favorite NECA Toys quarter scale figure. We have the Hulk from Age of Ultron, and man, that's a big Hulk figure. But I don't know, this Deadpool may take the spot of my favorite NECA quarter scale figure. I don't know, man. I mean, for real, these are both incredible figures. Then comparing this quarter scale Deadpool to a couple other Deadpools, we have the Sideshow Collectibles 1 6 scale Deadpool, and then we have the Marvel Legends Deadpool. And then here's Deadpool next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. There's Deadpool using that toe joint right there. I think this thing is awesome. And look how sturdy it is, man. He's not leaning up against anything. I think this is just a very well-made figure. You can see that there's a lot of passion put into this thing. I think NECA just knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, of course, I have my complaints, uh, the biggest of which, again, is this whole sheath system on the back kind of falling apart easy on me. But I will super glue that on there, so, you know, I will do that. But, man, oh, this is such a cool figure. I really love it. And I hope you guys loved this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. If you're already subscribed, please hit that notification bell. If you're able to do so, please support me on Patreon. Your guys' help is much needed and appreciated. Believe it or not, it's not easy making videos all the time, every single day, man. I would appreciate your guys' support. It's not as easy as most people think. And if you want to go ahead and see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures every day. Action figures.